Nothing escapes justice, part five of six on Between Master and Disciples, given in English on September 26, 2021. Maybe some woman will say, it's their body, they do what they want. Fine, but not this kind of murderous action, yeah? Yes. If they want to do what they want, then they should be prepared to, to turn their body, to take care of their body, taking preventive medicine so they don't have to even do the abortion. It's harmful for their body also when they do some abortions. Mm, yes. So yes, if it's their right. body, they should take better care. True, Master. Yes. Nowadays... It's so easy to avoid pregnancy, not like some decades ago, it's difficult. Mm, exactly. Hmm. If they can afford the abortion, then they can afford these anti-baby devices or pills. Yes, that's right. There's no excuse. Yes, Master. Uh -huh. Abortion is expensive or not? Yes. Sure. Costly, I would imagine. Yeah. Otherwise, if the government pays for it, it's expensive for taxpayers to... Of course, yes. I'm sorry. Uh, you make me angry. <laughs> oh, sorry, but it's, it's, it's all quite shocking, actually. It's to shocking, see no? These... What kind of a government who wants to kill babies, huh? Now they cannot kill the Afghan, the allies, or Americans, young and handsome and beautiful army anymore. They're killing babies because they're helpless. It's so easy to kill them. My God. Now they say the patrol is whipping the hyphens. Even if they order that, they should whip themselves instead and repent. 100,000 years. I'm not sure if even that long can erase their sin. Yes, Master. Oh, such a sinful government. And misleading the public, leading them uh, straight from moral standards and the Bible's teaching. Yes, Master. On one hand, they say, oh, Jesus Christ, praise, praise God and all that. On the other hand, they do the opposite of what God's commandments are. Yes. So these are working for Satan, devil. Can you see that? Yes, Master. Do you need any more proof for me? No. No, Master. I don't need any more proof for that. The Wahaiti could sink under the sea, he didn't care, and about murdering babies in the womb already, before they could even utter their mouth to defend for themselves. If they say the woman has the right for their own decision, then the babies also have the right to do it, to defend for themselves. But they cannot if they're murdered already. True, Master. In the warmth of the mothers. For no reason, for no fault of their own. Mm. Oh. Don't make me more angry. I told you I'm an angry master, yeah? I told you many times. I admit it. <laughs> <laughs> well, we don't blame you for being angry, Master, because of, it's shocking what's going on. Yeah, not just angry, but anguish. Exactly. How can I do anything to protect these innocent little babies my god 21 days their hearts beat already and they kill them mm, gosh that's just not right at all in a society you even abolish the death penalty and why do you kill babies huh yes master <sighs> what barbarous kind of mentality whoever supports that they will all go to hell believe me in all my honor i tell you that it's not even their babies. Exactly. Yeah. They cannot support this uh, abortion mentality. They can do something to ease it. They can support the unwanted pregnancies by easing the adoption law and by supporting them until the baby is born. They have a lot of money not to spend it on killing again in other countries. Instead, yes. taking care of their own people. Yes, Master. That's what Trump was for. Americans first. Mm. This looks like America is not even last, it's the bottom of, of hell. That's what they want to lead them to. The way it is right now, the way they do things like this. My God, and the whole group supports that? Supports Biden on that? Oh, God help them. God help them. They will all go to hell. Truly, I'm telling you with all my honor and truthfulness. Yes, Master. I told you already, I took the vow of truthfulness of not lying. That's right. Whatever happens to me, I still tell the truth. Yes, Master. Like Jesus, he knew the risk. 
at that time, but he still spoke the truth. Yes. Oh, man. Okay, anything else? I have another question. Yeah? Okay. Um, earlier, Master uh, mentioned that uh, about the $3.5 trillion budget that Biden was trying to push. That package tends to have a lot of for social programs as mm -hmm. well. Mm -hmm. And because Biden and Kamala Harris are uh, possessed by demons, mm -hmm. does that mean that the policies of the Democrats are backed by the demons? Yes. Therefore, many of the clauses inside are not for people. And they will make excuses to use it for something else. Yes. Social is not all what they want. It's the last that they want. I'm not sure if they're really sincere about that. Yes, yes. It's just like uh, taxing the rich while Biden didn't pay any. <laughs> yes. Pay very little, you see, because they earn, I think, 13 million, according to the figures. Yes. According to report there, but they declare only 800,000. So for 800,000, you pay very little tax. Yes, that's right. Yeah. And then I get, uh, how you say, oh my God, it's all corrupt. It's so corrupt, it is so ugly. Oh, God. I wish we don't even have to talk about it because I don't know. It's so ugly, so sickening. Yes. Say one thing, do another. Yes, yes. Mm. So it's just hiding behind the social agenda just to do something else. It's just another scheme. Ah, uh, yes. That's why many uh, don't agree with it. The Senate and the House did not vote for it yet because they have to really consider whether or not this is sincere. And also they found many flaws in it, like many of the sneaking in programs which don't have anything to do with the social help to the people. Yes. I didn't see the bill myself. I understand. But that's what I read in the media reports. Yes, I understand. That they sneak in many things which are not social at all. Yes, yes. Yeah. And on this uh, note, because President Trump is uh, heaven sent uh, and he's a Republican, mm -hmm. does that mean that the Republican policies are backed by heaven? If Trump suggests it, yes. Ah, okay. Mostly. What about the people who don't support Trump, Master? Yeah, the rhino, they call him. <laughs> A Republican in name only, yeah? Oh, yes, yes, the Republicans. <laughs> in name only, yeah. They don't support Trump, not only they don't support, they even impeach him. Yes, yes. Yeah. Many. Yes. They are also blinded by the demon's power. Ah, uh, yes. Not that they were bad intrinsically. So one of them doesn't want to run again and retire, yeah? Oh, yes, yes. And there are many others, maybe eight or nine of them, are still not saying anything, whether or not they will continue to run or not. No, oh, yes. I think they should just uh, wake up and, uh, and make up with their own fellow Republicans and with Trump. Yes. They are Republicans, and they were there in the beginning for the idea of the Republicans' policies, yes. So if they stray one time, it could be many things. It could be the devils influence them. It could be they misunderstood President Trump. It could be they misunderstand because of biased media who have always strongly beaten him up all these years. Yes, yes. So uh, in that case, I think they should just make up with each other, you know, it's like Sometimes even married people, they are so in love with each other, but they still quarrel sometimes, uh, oppose each other. Oh, yes, that's normal. And then just um, make up and still continue to be Republican or run again. Yes. It's not like everything is lost. If they make up with each other and continue their idealistic way in the Republicans' policy framework, then it's still workable. Yes, yes. They just fail once. Yes, and President Trump needs more support in the Congress to help him pass various laws. True, true. So like the trillion dollar bill, also like that, and many other good laws, good regulations, that if the Republicans are more together, they could do good for the nation better than now. Yes, yes. Better than all this killing and oppressing energy and policy from Biden and the group. Yes. That's all the questions we have, Master. Ah. Um, we thank you so much for this early morning uh, conference. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Actually, I call you for something else and it just came out, eh? Oh, yes, yes. Uh, it's good then. It's good then.
you know, like usual, the work, phone call. Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, the three trillion or something bill, that's all over on the, on the news. Yes, it is. I don't even have to mention it. You know it. Yes. Okay, thank you then, huh? Thank you, Master. Now, I ask you a question. Yes, Master. You ask always questions. <laughs> <laughs> We're nosy. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's uh, when we work for the world. This is some of the themes, you see? It's also for the world. Yes. For the Americans, it's also for the world. Yes. Because America is a great country. Everyone looks up to it. Yes, yes. So whatever America does, many will follow suit. Yes. The battle over abortion rights is raging across the Americas. Earlier this month, Mexico's Supreme Court made waves, voting unanimously to decriminalize abortions. The landmark ruling could clear the way for legalization of abortions nationwide. Soon, Colombia's high court will rule on expanding abortion rights. It's taking over Latin America. We also saw in the Dominican Republic just a few months ago. The tiny Republic of San Marino has voted overwhelmingly in favor of legalizing abortion. The government is now being urged to change the existing law, which dates back to 1865. The result came as a surprise in the state where 90% of the population is Roman Catholic. So I cannot... I cannot say Americans should kill all these babies in the womb before they could even cry, not to talk about defending themselves. This is cruelty at the ultimate. Yes, it is. There's no, no reason even. Of course, Biden and the government's employees there, they are living well. They don't have any problems. Yes. Even if the whole country goes down in the economy or pandemic, they are safe. Yes, that's right. Yeah, they sit in safety. They have thousands of, I would say, military personnel to protect them. They have uh, national security guards and all that, and they have even barbed wire fences anytime they want, at the snap of the fingers. Yes, that's right. Yeah, but the people outside there, the people who struggle every day for a living, for survival, they are in a different situation. Yes. And even some people could afford to have babies also. If they listen to the government, they will also abort them, just for convenience. Yes. That is wrong. Definitely wrong. If people cannot afford a baby, they should help. Because life is what God wants to create. Yes. God yes. created us. He wants life. Suppose Biden was aborted. What would he think, huh? Yes. In his mother's womb, if Biden was aborted, would he like that? Of course not. Yeah or Psaki, or Pelosi, or whatever the, the group in the White House. Yes. The henchmen, the White House henchmen. What if it happened to them? If their mother decided to kill them, would they have liked that? Huh? No, they wouldn't. So just ask yourself, whatever you don't want to be done to you, don't do it to others. 